In a world where competition is a relentless storm, the business battlefield requires not just skill, but a strategy deeper than what meets the eye. For in this struggle, the physical and spiritual intertwine, revealing a divine dimension yearning to be unleashed. Today, dear viewer, we delve into the archives of ancient wisdom, the revered pages of the Bible, to glean strategies crafted not in boardrooms, but on the battlegrounds of faith and fate. We turn our gaze to two remarkable figures, embodiments of divine strategy and steadfast faith, Joshua and Elijah. These men of old face challenges that would dwarf any modern business competition, yet they emerge triumphant, their stories echoing through the ages as testaments of divine strategy and resilience. As we embark on this journey, we will unearth strategies forged in the furnace of faith, strategies designed for your entrepreneurial success. We're not just recounting tales of old, we're revealing secrets for your triumph. So sit back, open your mind, and allow these lessons from the past to illuminate your path forward. This is not just another business tutorial, it's an epic journey into the realm of divine strategy, a voyage designed to arm you with tools for your business battlefield. Welcome to 10 Business Strategies from Elijah and Joshua to Fight Competition. Our journey begins in a city fortified with impenetrable walls, a symbol of overwhelming competition, Jericho. Here, Joshua, a man unaccustomed to leading battles, found himself staring at these formidable walls, a potent reminder of the challenges that lay ahead. Joshua, unlike any ordinary leader, relied not on his prowess or strategic genius, but on the divine blueprint given to him. He embraced an unorthodox strategy to march around the city, blow trumpets, and shout. Absurd, you might think, to those grounded in conventional warfare or business strategies. Yet Joshua took decisive action. The outcome? The walls of Jericho crumbled, and a seemingly unbeatable city fell. It was a divine victory born out of faith and decisive action. So how does Joshua's strategy resonate in the corridors of modern business? It teaches us the power of decisive action, even when it appears unconventional. In business, as in the Battle of Jericho, hesitation can be your greatest enemy. When a competitive crisis looms large, the ability to make quick decisions, grounded in deep faith and clear understanding, can spell the difference between triumph and defeat. Your Jericho may not be a fortified city, but a competitive business landscape and the walls may not be physical, but challenges that seem invincible. Like Joshua, your victory will not lie in the norms of the world, but in your ability to take decisive action, backed by divine guidance. Remember, dear viewer, when faced with a competitive crisis, hesitate not. For in the realm of business, as in the ancient battles of faith, the decisive often inherit the victory. From the rugged landscapes of Jericho, our journey leads us to the barren Mount Carmel, where the sky has been devoid of clouds for three and a half years. It is here that we meet Elijah, the prophet, a man of unwavering faith. Elijah had a mission, to bring rain to the parched land. He prayed, not once, not twice, but seven times, sending his servant each time to look for any sign of a cloud. And for six times, the servant returned with the same disheartening news there was no cloud in sight. Yet Elijah did not waver. He remained persistent, undeterred by the repeated absence of results. And on the seventh attempt, there it was, a small cloud rising from the sea. That cloud soon covered the entire sky, bringing much needed rain to the thirsty land. In the world of business, this lesson of Elijah's persistence is particularly poignant. There will be times when you'll see no results, when your efforts seem futile, when the competition seems insurmountable. Like Elijah, you may be tempted to accept defeat. But remember, just as the seventh prayer brought forth the cloud, your continued efforts can bring about the results you desire. Persistence can turn the driest spell into a downpour of success. Dear viewer, let Elijah's unyielding spirit guide you. In business, as in life, it is often the persistent who tastes the fruit of success. The rain may not come at your first, second, or even third prayer, but stay persistent, and when it does come, it can quench the deepest thirst. From the parched peaks of Mount Carmel, we journey back in time, 
to the banks of the mighty Jordan River. Standing before it is Joshua, a man brimming with courageous faith. God's command echoes in his ears, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. This was Joshua's beacon as he prepared to lead the Israelites into unknown territories against formidable enemies. Courage and faith were Joshua's armor, his protective shield. He led his people across the Jordan, into battles, into victory. Fear was a constant companion, yet he chose faith over fear, courage over comfort. Joshua's audacious faith not only changed the course of his life but also of an entire nation. In the battleground of business, the role of courageous faith is no less important. As an entrepreneur, you will face trials that seem as insurmountable as the walls of Jericho. Competition will loom large, like the mighty armies Joshua faced. And in those moments, you'll need to tap into your reservoir of courageous faith, just as Joshua did. Remember, it's the brave who take the risks that can alter the trajectory of their business. It's those who trust in their capabilities, who believe in their vision, who have faith in their journey, that can face competition head on, undeterred, unswerving. Dear viewer, let Joshua's courageous faith inspire you. Let it infuse you with the bravery to take the risks, the resolve to face the challenges, and the audacity to dream big. For when you harness the power of courageous faith, there is no competition you cannot face. From the bravery-infused banks of the Jordan, we find ourselves amidst the rocky crevices of Mount Horeb. Here, we find the mighty prophet Elijah, not in victory, but in despair. Fleeing from his enemies, he had come here seeking solace, questioning his purpose. Then, in the silence of a gentle whisper, God spoke to him, providing guidance and renewed purpose. 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 9 to 18. In the face of formidable competition and overwhelming challenges, have you like Elijah questioned your direction? In those moments of uncertainty, remember Elijah's experience on Mount Horeb. The divine didn't abandon him in his despair. Instead, God offered him inspiration, direction, and the courage to persevere. Now let's journey from this ancient landscape to your contemporary business world. As a business leader, you'll encounter moments when you'll need more than your own wisdom. Moments when you're up against towering competition and the road ahead seems clouded. In those times, seek divine inspiration as Elijah did. Imagine the possibilities when divine wisdom informs your business strategies. The innovations you could introduce, the unique solutions you could provide, the lives you could impact. God's wisdom can reveal opportunities hidden in challenges, expose weaknesses in your competition, and guide you to undiscovered paths to success. So, fellow Christians entrepreneurs, in the face of fierce competition, do not let despair dictate your decisions. Like Elijah, seek divine inspiration. Let it guide you, empower you, and transform your business from a mere competitor into a pioneering game changer. Transitioning from the spiritual mountain of Horeb, we traverse the landscapes of time to the plains of Ai. Here, Joshua faces his next challenge, a city seemingly insignificant, yet perilously daunting. But this time, Joshua does not solely rely on the miraculous. He devises a strategy. He plans, Joshua chapter 8 verse 1 to 8. In the heart of uncertainty and impending conflict, Joshua showcases an invaluable tool in the warrior's arsenal, strategic planning. He sets an ambush, uses diversion tactics, and the city of Ai, Ai which had been a symbol of his past failure, crumbles under the power of his carefully crafted strategy. Joshua's victory here was not just a testament to his courage, but also his strategic acumen. Imagine you are standing before your own IE, your business rival, maybe a daunting market challenge. Like Joshua, you have been endowed with resources and a team, a battle force if you will. But to triumph, you'll need more than just courage. You'll need a battle plan, a strategic blueprint that will guide your every move ensuring each step takes you closer to victory. Just as Joshua turned the tables on the city of Ai, you too can outmaneuver your competition using foresight and strategic planning. Assess your competition, identify their weaknesses, understand market trends, recognize your strengths, and then devise your master plan. Let every decision be informed, every move calculated, every risk assessed. Remember, fellow entrepreneurs, 
In the face of competition, you are not helpless. Like Joshua, you have the ability to strategize, to plan, to turn the tide in your favor. Let this tale of ancient victory inspire your journey to business success. We journey now to a time of great drought, to an epoch where the land was parched and the streams had run dry. Here we find Elijah, a prophet who relied on the grace of the heavens, 1 Kings 17 verse 2 to 6. Yet in the midst of such desolation, Elijah found sustenance. Ravens brought him food, and he drank from the brook Cherith. It was divine provision, yes, but it was also a profound testament to harnessing available resources, even in the direst of circumstances. As entrepreneurs, your journey might lead you to your own drought. Resources might seem scarce, opportunities might appear to dry up. But let me remind you, there is always a brook Cherith. There are always ravens in your path. You need to identify them, utilize them, harness them. Perhaps it's a hidden talent in your team, a little utilized asset, or a unique market niche. It could even be an overlooked trend or a piece of innovative technology. Open your eyes to the possibilities around you, just as Elijah did. Find your brook, welcome your ravens. Recognize the wealth within your reach and learn to make the most of it. For in resourcefulness, there lies the promise of survival, the potential for growth, the power to thrive against your competition. Picture this, an imposing city, guarded by impenetrable walls, Jericho, a place that seemed unconquerable. Yet Joshua and his men stood at the precipice of this challenge, undeterred, Joshua 6 verse 20. Their weapon was not a powerful army or a clever siege weapon, but unity, a unity so strong that it brought down the walls of Jericho. They marched around the city, each man a part of a greater whole, working in harmony, their trumpets resounding in unison until the seemingly invincible walls crumbled. Now, envision your business as that band of Israelites. Each member of your team, each department in your organization, is like one of the men marching around Jericho. Alone, they may seem inconsequential against the might of competition, but together, in unity, they can shake the very foundations of your market. Encourage teamwork, foster unity, Build a culture where each person knows they are a crucial part of a greater whole. When everyone moves in unison, towards the same goal, even the mightiest of competitive walls can fall. Remember, your team is your greatest strength. Together, you can overcome any challenge, conquer any city, win any market. In the deafening silence of the cave, amidst the swirling winds and shattering rocks, Elijah stood, listening. 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 11 to 13. Not for the raging storm or the mighty earthquake. No, he was waiting, waiting for the still small voice. And then it came, soft as a whisper, gentle as a lullaby, the voice of God. Amidst all the tumult, it was this quiet, gentle voice that Elijah recognized and followed. Now, imagine the business world as that mountain. It's loud, chaotic, full of powerful winds of change, seismic shifts in markets, and fiery bursts of competition. But amidst it all, there's a still, small voice, the voice of divine guidance. It takes wisdom and discernment to listen to this voice amidst the noise. But when you do, it can guide you through the chaos, help you navigate through uncertainty, and lead you to prosperity. Remember, it's not always in the grand, powerful events that we find our path. Often it's in the gentle whisper, the quiet nudging, where the most profound guidance lies. Before Joshua lay the city of Ai, the next hurdle in the path of Israelite victory. But Joshua was not a man to be daunted. He had a plan. Joshua chapter 8 verse 18 to 26. Joshua understood that every battle was not just about strength but also about strategy. He knew that the essence of victory lay not just in numbers, but in using those numbers effectively. His strategy? An ambush. Under the cloak of night, Joshua set his plan into action. It was a successful, decisive victory. The city of Ai fell not because the Israelites were a formidable force, but because Joshua capitalized on their unique strength strategy. In the corporate world, we too can take a leaf from Joshua's book. Every business has its strengths, unique skills that set it apart from the rest. It's up to us to identify these strengths and leverage them. Is it innovation, teamwork, superior quality, 
Whatever your strength, harness it. Apply it strategically, just like Joshua did in the Battle of Ai. For in this cutthroat world of business, it's not always the biggest company that wins, but the smartest. So, learn to always have a SWOT analysis of everything, business, workers, locations, and much more. Have a SWOT analysis of literally everything. This will guide you. Now let's discover the last business's strategy we can learn from our brothers in Christ Elijah and Joshua. Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but an handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise, that we may eat it and die. Fear not. Go, and do as thou hast said, for thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Here Elijah stands, not among the grandeur of the king's courts, but with a humble widow from Zarephath. His request? A simple morsel of bread. But the widow had but a little left, enough only for one last meal for herself and her son. Yet, in this situation of profound scarcity, she shared with Elijah, for he promised her that God would provide. And God did. The oil did not run out. The flour did not deplete. Even in the midst of drought and famine, the widow, her son, and Elijah had enough. Now consider your own business. There will be times of drought, times of difficulty, times when the odds seem stacked against you. But take a lesson from Elijah and the widow of Zarephath. Trust in God's provision. Even when the economic forecast looks bleak, trust that God will provide. He might not fill your jars with endless oil, but He will give you strength. Strength to innovate, to adapt, to overcome. He will provide you with opportunities and open doors you never saw before. Remember, in times of crisis, your faith becomes your greatest asset. Like the widow of Zarephath, trust in God's provision. For he provides not just for our survival, but for our success. In the same lands where Joshua led armies and Elijah prophesied, a legacy was forged. Lessons written in the annals of time, ready to be gleaned by us, modern warriors of a different battlefield. Ten profound strategies, not merely of war and prophecy, but of resilience, innovation, and faith. From the walls of Jericho to the drought-stricken fields of Israel, from decisive action to divine inspiration. Like Joshua, may we exhibit decisive action in the face of insurmountable odds, strategic planning in complex situations, and the courage to face our adversaries. As with Elijah, may we persistently chase our dreams, harness our resources, listen to the divine whispers, and trust unconditionally in God's provisions. The terrain of business competition may seem daunting. There are times you may feel like you are standing before the high walls of Jericho or facing the drought of resources. But remember, it's in these times, the times of trials, where champions rise. And so, dear Christians entrepreneurs, it is time for you to rise. As we reach the conclusion of our journey today, I leave you with this thought. Let the lives of Joshua and Elijah be your guide. Carry their lessons in your heart, and may their strategies bring you success in your every endeavor. Your battlefield awaits, dear friends. It is time for you to claim your victory. As we stand on this precipice of knowledge and inspiration, gazing out at the landscape of possibilities before us, I urge you to take a moment, a moment of reflection. Take this newly found wisdom, these strategies drawn from the life and times of Joshua and Elijah and apply them to your world, your battlefield. I encourage you to share your thoughts, your interpretations, your strategies. How will you face the walls of your Jericho? How will you endure your season of drought? Your journey doesn't have to end here. There's an entire community waiting for you, eager to hear your story, to learn from your experiences. Subscribe to our channel, share your wisdom in the comments. Be part of this community that is as much yours as it is ours. And remember, inspiration is most powerful when shared. If you know someone navigating their battlefield, share this video. Empower them with these strategies. Help them understand, as you now do, 
that victory is not a distant dream, but a reality waiting to be grasped. Please remember to hit the subscribe button now and also click on the notification bell. This will ensure you are always the first to be notified whenever we upload a new video. As we part ways today, let us not forget, we are all warriors in our own right, fighting our battles, striving for our victories. Together, we shall rise. Together, we shall conquer. Until next time, remember to keep the faith, strive for excellence, and may your journey be blessed.